good afternoon to one and all this is dr k pushparani associate professor department of csc mlr institute of technology in this video we are going to discuss about uh, what is a multinomial theorem what is the statement of multinomial theorem then how to prove this statement that is theorem proof and we'll understand this multinomial theorem by taking some example problems so before going to start multinomial theorem what is meant by binomial as the name implies bi means it consisting of two terms in the expansion that is x plus y so only two terms that are present in the expansion we can call it as a binomial coming to the so suppose there is a three terms are present x plus y plus z there are three terms that are present in the expansion we can call it as trinomial if more than three terms that are present in the expansion then we can call it as a multinomial multinomial so consider the statement of multinomial theorem for the positive integer n that means uh, the number of terms in the expansion is uh, power of n and each and every term will be expanded as x1 x2 and so on xt this is nothing but a first term second term that is a t terms are present then the multinomial theorem can states that uh, x1 plus x2 plus x3 and so on xt whole power n that means there is a t terms are present in the expansion the whole power of n can be expanded as sigma of q1 plus q2 and so on qt is equal to n what is q1 q1 is the first term q2 is the second term and qt is the last term the total terms is equal to the power of n then we can say that n factorial by q1 factorial q2 factorial and so on qt factorial x to the power of q1 that means uh, how many times the first term is to be repeated x2 means the second term how many times it is repeated like that we need to expand up to t terms uh, the last is the qt that power of q1 plus q2 plus q3 is equal to the total power in the expansion of multinomial theorem so consider so this is the terms uh, how many times uh, q1 uh, q1 times x1 is repeated then how many times q2 is repeated q2 times x2 is repeated then we have to repeat it the same thing up to qt so qt times xt is repeated the total power of q1 plus q2 plus q3 and so on qt is equal to the power of n so in the multinomial theorem we can state that how many terms the each and every term is to be expanded or how many ways we can arranging the n n items in the expansion of binomial the expansion of multinomial theorem that means how x1 how many ways we can arrange how many ways we can arrange x2 how many ways we can arrange x3 that many powers we have to consider in the case of multinomial theorem so that formula for the multinomial theorem is uh, x1 plus x2 plus xt and so to the power of n is equal to the n factorial n factorial means total number of items in the expansion of multinomial theorem divided by q1 factorial means nothing but the first term power q2 factorial means second term power and so on q2 factorial means last term power then each term how many times it is repeated that is x1 to the power of q1 x2 to the power of q2 and so on x3 to the power of qt so remember in the case of q1 plus q2 plus q3 and so on qt is equal to the power of n is equal to the power of n so this multinomial theorem can state that how many ways we can choose the particular n number of items in the expansion of binomial multinomial theorem so by using this formula we have to calculating the corresponding value in the multinomial theorem so consider the first example find the coefficient of x to the power of 5 y to the power of 10 z to the power of 5 w to the power of 5 how many terms are present there are four terms are present in the expansion i already told that the power of q1 x power is q1 y power is q2 z power is q3 
by W power is Q3. Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3 plus Q4 is equal to the power of N. What is N? N is equal to the 25. N is equal to the 25. What is Q1? Q1 means 5 plus Q2 is 10 plus Q3 is 5. Q4 is 5. That is total 25. That is the x1 power is Q1. x2 po y power is Q2. z power is Q3. w power is Q4. All these terms are sum up. Then we will get the power of n. So, what is x1? x1 is that is the coefficient value is x. Then x2 is 7y x3 is 3z and x4 is w. There are four terms are present. Now, we need to find out the coefficient of this term. x to the power of 5, y to the power of 10, z to the power of 5, w to the power of 5. So, to find out what is the formula to find the coefficient in expansion n factorial by q1 factorial, q2 factorial, q3 factorial, q4 factorial. Why we consider only up to q4 means there are four terms are present. n factorial means n is 25. 25 factorial by q1 that means x power that is 5 factorial. Then q2 factorial means y power that is 10 factorial. q3 means z power that is 5 factorial. Q4 means W for 5 factorial into then x to the power of Q1. What is x means coefficient of first term that is 1 to the power of x to the power of Q1. x means 1. Then after that y to the power of 10. y means second term that is the 7y. So, we need to take only coefficient that is 7 to the power of 10. z. z coefficient is 3. What is power? Power value is Q3 power value is 5, 3 to the power of 5. W, W coefficient is 1, the power is 5. So, we need to multiply all these values to 25 factorial by 5 factorial, 10 factorial, 5 factorial, 5 factorial, 7 to the power of 1 into 2 to the, 3 to the power of 5. That means 1 to the power of 5 is 1 only. Again, 1 to the power of 5 is 1 only. So, don't need to consider these two values. The remaining factors in the expansion is 7 to the power of 10 into 3 to the power of 5 is the coefficient value of x to the power of 5, y to the power of 10, z to the power of 5, w to the power of 5. This is the corresponding value in the given expansion. Next. Next example, find the term which contains x power 11 and y to the power of 4. In the expansion of 2x cube, 3x y square and z square whole power 6. So, in the case of according to the multinomial theorem, what is n? n is equal to 6. n is equal to 6. What is q1? q1 means first power, q2 is first power, q3. We do not know all those values, so we have to return as it is q1, q2, q3. Then, what is the x to the power of q1 means x coefficient is 2x to the power of 3. We do not know the value of q1, q2, q3 right as it is x to the power of q1. x coefficient is 2x cube to the power of q1. Next, x2 that is the next one is x2. x2 means second term. Second term is 3x y square. We do not know what is q2 right as it is. Next, then x3. That is the third term. Third term is z square to the power of q3. Now, we need to simplify the expression c. That means we need to take the combination. How many times it is repeated? c of 6 q1, q2, q3, 2 to the power of q1. Then we need to separate the so coefficient and x terms. 2 to the power of q1, 3 to the power of q2, z to the power of so 2 q3. So, here there is no a coefficient, 1 only. Then x to the power of 3 q1, x to the power of 3 q1, then here x to the power of q2. So, we need to add those two values, we will get the term as x to the power of 3 q1 plus q2. Next, y powers are y to the power of 2 q2 only, only one term, z to the power of 2 q3, z to the power of 2 q3. So, after expanding, then we need to find out the values of q1, q2, q3. So, to find out the values of q1, q2, q3, so x to the power of 11. So, we need to find out the coefficient of x to the power of 11. So, with the help of x to the power of 11, we need to equating the equations. 
3 q1 plus q2 is 11. Then what about y to the power of 4 2 q2? 2 q2 is equating to 4. We are not bothering about uh, so z coefficient. No need to do. No need to find out that value. Okay. Then 3 q1 plus q2 is equal to 11. From this uh, 2 q2, what is q2 value? Q2 is uh, 2. That means 4 by 2 will get q2 as 2. Once we substitute this value in the 3 q1 plus q2, 3 q1 plus q2 is equal to 11. 3 q1 plus q, we know the value of q2 that is 2 is equal to 11. Then 3 q1 is equal to 9. Then q1 is 9 by 3 that is equal to 3. Next we know the value of q1. q1, q3. Once we know the value of q1 and q2, then we have to find out q3 value because q1 plus q2 plus q3 is equal to n. So, that is n value is power, that is 6. So, we know the substitute the q1 value, q1 is, what is the value of q1? That is 3 plus, what is the value of q2? 3 plus q3 is equal to 6. So, q3 is equal to 6 minus 5 will get q3 value is 1. Then we have to substitute to find out the value of x to the power of 11, y to the power of 4, c of 6. What is q1? q1 is 3, q2 is 1, then q3 is 1, 2 cube and then 3 power 2. Because q1 value is 2, then q2 value is 2. Then q1 value is 3, then q2 value is 3. Substitute all those values, 6, this is the c of 3 to 1 means 6c of uh, 3 to 1 that is uh, 6 is 3 to 1 combinations that means 6 factorial by 3 factorial 2 factorial 1 factorial into 2 power 3 means 8 into 9 that is 6 factorial means uh, 6 into 5 into 4 3 3 get cancelled remaining terms is 2 2 ones are 2 twos are. next after that uh, so, that is 5, 6, 30, 32 is 16. 60 into 72. We will get 4, 3, 2, 0 is the coefficient of x to the power of 11 and y to the power of 4. Next. Consider the next example. Find the coefficient of x, y, z square in the expansion of 2x minus y minus z. First of all, find out what is n n is equal to 4. Then what is q1, q2, q3 values? q1 is nothing has given in the x power. So q1 is considered as 1. q2 also there is no power. q2 is also 1. Then q3 is 2. So what is the formula to find the coefficient value? n factorial by then q1 factorial, q2 factorial, q3 factorial. 1 factorial, 1 factorial, then 2 factorial into x to the power of what is first term? 2x to the power of q1 that is 1 into second term that is minus 1. What is the coefficient value? 1, y means 1. 1 is the coefficient to the power of q2 into z. This is minus 1 whole power 2. That is 4 factorial by 2 factorial into, so 2 to the power of 1 means 2 only into 2. Then x to the power of 1 minus 1 square means minus only minus 1. Again minus 1 becomes plus. Then 4 factorial by 2 factorial into 2. That is x to the power of 1 coefficient is so, that is x to the power of 1 is minus. We are going to get to minus power. So, the power is minus. Okay. So, we will get to minus 2 to get cancelled. 4 factorial is minus 24. Minus 24 is the coefficient of x, y, z square. x, y, z square. So, the coefficient of x, y, z square is minus 24. Next. So, find the coefficient of a square b cube c square d to the power of 5 in the expansion of a plus 2b, 3c, 2d and 5. 
So what is an n is equal to 16? What is first term? That is uh, q1 is equal to 2 a power. q2 is b power. So q3 c power. c power is 2. Then q4 d power that is 5 q3 so q5 no need to specify because we don't know that value so that is q1 plus q2 plus q3 plus q4 plus q5 is equal to 16 but uh, the clause term is not given we need to find out that value q1 plus q2 plus q3 plus q4 plus q5 is equal to n that is equal to 16 then to find out the middle value next value that is the last value we need to subtract all those values and find out the next value in the expansion n minus n minus q1 plus q2 plus q3 plus q4 that is equal to 16 minus 2 plus 3 plus 5 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 5 that is 16 minus 12 will get 4. The next value is 4. Need to find out the next value. Now we need to find out the coefficient. Find out the coefficient. How to find out the coefficient n factorial that is 16 factorial by so, q1 factorial, 2 factorial, 3 factorial, 2 factorial, 5 factorial and 4 factorial. x to the power of q1, that means x coefficient is 1. q1 power is 1 to square. Next, y. So, x2, x2 means 2b. 2b to the power of 3, then c minus 3c to the power of 2 into 2d to the power of 5 then after that the last term is 5 5 to the power of q4 that is q5 that is 4 to the power of 4 then 16 factorial by we need to separate the terms 2 factorial 3 factorial 2 factorial 5 factorial 4 factorial. 1 square is 1 only. So, no need to write 1 square. 2 power 3, separate the terms. 2 power 3 minus 3 square, then 2 to the power of 5, 5 to the power of 4 into b cube c square d to the power of 5, then a is already there that is the power is uh, a only a square only next after multiplying all these values 16 factorial by 2 factorial 3 factorial 2 factorial 5 factorial 4 factorial into 8 into 9 into 32 so 5 5 is a 25 25 26 25 so after multiplying and simplifying the expression we will get the final value that is the coefficient value of a square b cube c square due to the power of 5. So, up to now what we have discussed what is meant by multinomial theorem, what is the expansion of multinomial theorem, what is the formula to find out the coefficient in multinomial theorem, we can understand all those things by taking some examples. Thank you.